What's going on, guys? Good morning. Looking at Casper Crypto this morning. Casper Crypto currently down 5.7%. We're on a daily chart, tradingview.com. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and consider doing so. So we're going to take a zoom in here at the Casper slash USDT chart. So we had this, taking a step back real quick, we had this cup pattern, couple handle pattern, and then we had the handle over here. We had a 380 breakout, which took place very, very nicely to the upside. The markets have been pulling back um, full, full retrace of the entry. So we pulled back and then we printed a lower high and then we had many, many down days. And then in yesterday's video, I had mentioned that I have a slight concern that this rising wedge was going to break out to the downside. And that actually took place through the night hours here for Casper and basically across the board, a lot of markets, uh, different cryptos and whatnot uh, broke to the downside. So I'm going to take a zoom in here. Let's see here. So we had this, basically this rising wedge here, a lot of resistance showing up at our 415 level, this white line on the chart right here. And my concern was that we could be heading lower and that's exactly what we did. The positive side is we found support at a lower level that I had mentioned in many videos, but I mentioned it in yesterday's video that if we get down to that 363 area, we could find support there at least for a period of time, a short period of time. And that did take place. So if this market does not find support right in and around where it's at right now, which is basically the levels of the left hand side of the cup, and then we are at the same levels basically for the handle. And then today we found support right in and around that area. If support doesn't show up here, it's not looking good. We could be heading lower. We could be heading down to the 334. We could be even heading lower to the 310. I mean, that could be a potential area of support because it was resistance at one point here in Casper's past. It depends on what they do with the rest of the market. And Bitcoin does carry a lot of weight on all of these projects. So that is the not so good news. Let me clean this screen up real quick for you. On the positive news, the positive side, I should say, is if this was support and it holds so far it's holding but there's many hours left in today's trading session support showed up nice at 363 so far as it should i mentioned so all the white lines on the screen are areas of support and resistance areas below the current market price are potential areas of support as price approaches areas above the market are potential areas of price resistance as price approaches those levels. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's these white horizontal lines on the chart. I have a green one up here. So as the price moved up towards this 415 level, it's potential resistance until broken and turned into support. So we had one, two, three, basically five different candles, five days of um, resistance at 415 could not get back above it. And then we had the big break today. But what did we do is we head down to a lower level, which is the 363 and prices, price levels I have on the chart below the market are potential support for a period of time. And support did show up for a period of time because today is obviously not done trading yet at 363. And I can show you this in more detail if we go to a three minute time frame. And you can see how nice, how nice, nicely support showed up at that 363 as price approached it. 
we hit it once, bounced, undercut, and then so far we have been uh, ticking to the upside. But like I said, doesn't mean that will be support um, 100% because there's many hours left in today's trading session. And then you can see to the upside, levels above the market can act as support as it did up here at 415. Back to a daily chart. Guys, if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and consider doing so. A lot of the viewers, not part of the channel yet. Appreciate it ahead of time. So that's what we're watching today is it'd be great to see support show up at 363. Potential area to scoop up some more Casper, not financial advice. And uh, like I said, if support doesn't show up somewhere, basically where it's at now, not looking too good for these markets and Casper, there's probably lower prices to come, 334. And then 3310 is basically the next area where there's a lot of previous traded um, price at, and it could find support there as that level was resistance for a while. So when it broke, there's some validity there. So a pullback to that point would be would indicate to me that the price could potentially find some support there. Just like it should here. I mean, this area was resistance. 363 was resistance for many, many days over in here. And then we created this cup pattern. And then we had many, many days again of resistance. And then when it broke, it broke out very strong. We've had quite the pullback here. But I wouldn't be surprised to see support show up here at 363. Does not mean it will, of course. Just wanted to share those levels with you guys. So that's going to wrap it up. We'll be back with some more videos. 3-0. So it's 0 0.0363 is the current support for today's candle. Today is the 8th of November. They crushed the markets across the board, the crypto markets, I should say, um, overnight. So we'll see if we get some follow through for today or do we rally. Time will tell. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next video. Take it easy out there.